I started the curry by adding a package of baby carrots to the bottom of the pan right here you can see and then what I did was I put water into the pan it's probably about an inch and a half it's just a little bit to cover the carrots enough you know water to simmer this and then I added five of these tablespoons of this red curry paste here And you want to make sure you get the red curry paste. There's lots of different kinds of curry paste. And you want to make sure you have the right one for the right flavor. And then what I'm doing right now is I've cut up some uh, cabbage. I had a really small head of cabbage. Well, this is a quarter of it left, if you can see. Um, I'd say that's about six inches uh, in diameter. The cabbage was so it wasn't a huge head of cabbage and I'm cutting it in some pretty big chunks to put into this right now and I'm going to use the whole head of cabbage a lot of this will just get cooked up which is fine I wanted to um, I just want this to be uh, loaded with lots of vegetables so I have the one pack of baby carrots and now I'm putting in the cabbage and I'm going to cook that along with this pretty large size onion. So let me show you here. And that's about five inches, that onion. If you don't have, uh, this is a sweet onion. Uh, you can use two or three small onions, but this is just huge. So normally I put in three small onions. So I figured this one giant one will just do the trick. And so I'm gonna slice up that and stick that in and simmer this a bit so that all of this vegetables are cooked. I want this to be a main, I just want to have a lot of vegetables in the chili, and of course, I mean in the curry, of course you can throw in, If you, I may even throw in some green beans, I have some fresh green beans, I might just cut those up and just pop them in too, um, if they're still good, but any kind of a vegetable that you have at home, that uh, you have if they're leftovers or fresh from the garden, uh, corn even would be great in here. Just your favorite vegetables you can throw in uh, for this. But I want this to be mainly a ton of vegetables and then a little bit of meat. Um, and of course with the curry um, curry sauce and then the coconut cream. I'm going to put this, um, actually it's just coconut milk. I'm going to add this a little bit later. But I want the curry seasoning to flavor. It seems like the longer you're cooking your curry, uh, the flavors come out after cooking for a while. So I stick my curry in right away into the water. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting up my um, onions, my onion, and then the rest of the cabbage, and I'm going to simmer that. Right now I have it on high just to get the water hot and the pot hot, but I'm going to turn it back down to a medium and just simmer this so that it cooks. The carrots are going to need, um, you know, a little bit of cooking time in here. But as soon as these are becoming tender, then I'm going to add my beans and some of the other ingredients. I am going to throw in my green beans. So I chopped them up into about an inch size piece right here. And that gives some good color to it too. So then we have a green vegetable. Uh, so we have the orange and green and then we've got our cabbage. So it'll look pretty. And then our pink ham once we chop up that. So I'm going to simmer this till the cabbage is tender and at least until those carrots are, are tender too. Now that I have the green beans in, I am going to add a can of uh, diced tomatoes. I'm going to turn this down. I had it on a four, which is almost a medium or a medium low. I'm going to turn it down a little bit now that I've reached temperature. And I'm going to put it on a two on my stove. And I'm going to go ahead and put this ham bone in, which is leftover from a ham dinner. And I had cooked the ham with a mustard and um, brown sugar glaze on top. And I'm just putting in some scraps from the pan as well, um, like this, a few handfuls of those scraps and then the bone. That's what the bone looks like. It has a, there's the part of the knuckle right there. 
in there. So in that, and that way all the meat's gonna simmer off of that bone. Right there. I'm gonna add a, maybe a can or two of, of, um, of water, just so they have a little bit more liquid. I'll probably do one can of water because I am pretty low on the liquid at the bottom. And now I'm just gonna get the rest of the scraps from the bottom of my pan. Now we cooked this ham two days ago, so it's still pretty fresh. Um, after you cook your ham, if you're not gonna make something with it right away, you can freeze that bone and then use it whenever you're ready. But I like to use things up right away so it doesn't go bad. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add my, that can of water I was talking about. And do you see how it's bringing up? Let's see, we're getting, it's kinda of dark in here. Let me see if I can find the light up here. Let's see. You see how by that adding that one can, I got a little bit more, it's bringing the juice up, the water up, right to there now. I don't want it to be real watery. That's why I'm not putting in a lot of water. I'll just finish the rest of that can. Um, this ham was really salty, so I am not gonna add any salt to this. Um, I'm going to just let this simmer for a while and let my veggies cook and then the ham fall apart. Let's get that in there. I want that bone submerged a little bit there. So all of this is gonna cook down right here. So I'm gonna put it on a very low simmer with my cover on and let that cook, like I said, until these carrots are tender. All right now they are just barely warmed. I cooked it for 40 minutes and the carrots are nice and tender. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a can of beans and it's uh, your choice on uh, the type of beans you want to throw in. Gabonzo beans is really great too but I just don't have any. Um, and if you want to throw in two or three, that's fine. I've done up to three cans of beans. I'm just going to throw in one today and then I'm going to go ahead and put my coconut milk in. Now I want to show you the coconut milk is pretty thick right here. I'm going to scrape it all out. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Actually, I'm going to add some I'm gonna almond milk to this and stir it around, get all the leftovers. Let me show you. Now, I've, I've left the bone in still right now. At this point, I still want that bone to cook into this so that all the little pieces are coming off. But they're really dissolving really well because I had cooked this ham really, really uh, well. And so the ham was already falling off that bone previously when I made it for the dinner. But it's all coming off right now, actually. But I want that b bone to flavor this. And you can see it's just loaded with vegetables because I wanted it to be a one pot um, dinner. I didn't want to have to have vegetables on the side. This is really coming nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of almond milk. I'm gonna do about a half a can right here just to scrape all the all the leftovers in here. Add in a half a can and then I'm gonna let it simmer for another half hour. I wanna show you the almond milk I'm adding. It's unsweetened original almond milk. So we don't have any sugar in it. There's no vanilla flavoring. It's just plain almond milk. And the curry is done. I cooked it for an additional 45 minutes while I was cooking up my rice. And you can use a jasmine rice is nice on it, but I'm using this uh, brown rice, which is also fine. It's what I had in the cupboard. And so I'm going to go ahead and scoop out a spoonful of brown rice here. And then I'm going to do a ladle of 
actually I'm going to put a little bit more on the bottom there. And you can serve this any way you like. If you don't care for the rice, just want to eat it as a soup. As a soup, you can. And then I'm just going to ladle over the vegetables. And then I want some of this juice, too, on top here. Get some more of the veggies on top. And there you have your ham and vegetable curry. Bon appetit. Let me know in the comments how you enjoyed it. And uh, if you like it, then go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate uh, all the subscriptions I can get. Thank you.